Hi guys, it's Justine and today I'm going to be filming my January favorites 2016, the first monthly favorites for the year of 2016 and I am so excited for this video. I have so many things that I want to talk about and I know I'm forgetting stuff because when I was sitting down collecting things for this video, I just, I kept thinking of things and thinking of things and now I just have a ton of things that I want to talk to you about that I've just been loving this month. I also have a lot of fashion related things this month. I could probably about even for like my fashion favorites and my beauty favorites, but I do have a lot of fashion related favorites for this month. And so I'm just going to start off. My first favorite is this Tiffany's necklace. Um, this was my Christmas present from my husband and I've just been obsessed with it this month. Like I wear it all the time and it's my first ever like Tiffany's jewelry piece and I love it. So that's my first favorite this month because I've been wearing this like almost every day. Next is a, okay. Next are these Pumpkin Spice Cappuccino K-Cups by Grove Square. I get Grove Square Cappuccino K-Cups a lot and I never knew that they had pumpkin spice flavor and I just randomly found this flavor on Amazon and I got some immediately because I love pumpkin spice even though fall is over and like... It's definitely a fall drink, but oh, they're just so, so, so good. So if you have a Keurig, I def recommend these. They're just, they're so good. Pa pumpkin spice cappuccino, love them. And then another thing that I've um, hauled a few videos ago and I've been using in like some of my makeup inspiration videos is this Love & Beauty Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner by Forever 21. This is just as good as ELF's liquid eyeliner, which is my favorite liquid eyeliner ever. And it's in like this huge bottle. It, how big is this bottle? It's 0.25 ounces and so like a fourth of an ounce and I just, I love this. It works just as good as Elf's liquid eyeliner. So my next favorite are these Bath and Body Works body creams. I got both of these um, this past winter. One is in Winter Candy Apple, the other one is in Fresh Sparkling Snow. These both smell amazing but I just love, I've never gotten the Bath and Body Works body cream before. I always get the lotions that are like in these kind of bottles and I don't know if I'm ever going to get the lotions again, to be honest, because these just are so smooth. They're so much thicker than the lotions. I feel like they're so much better quality, and I I love these, and I can't believe I never bought them before because they're just awesome, and they just, they make you feel, they make your skin feel so good. Next is kind of like a random thing, but I've been totally all about the Calvin Klein panty and bra trend, and so I just have like accumulated a couple pairs of Calvin Klein panty and bras. I'm like obsessed with their like sports bra sets and like the whole like Instagram trend about Calvin Klein like panties and bras. Like I'm, I'm obsessed. Next is just like these big earrings. I've been wearing these in a lot of videos. I literally only wear these for videos. I think they look so good on my ears but I'm so afraid of like getting tugged on, getting them tugged on and I already have like kind of like droopy ear holes from wearing so many like dangly and hoop earrings in the past but I love and they have like I'm sure you've seen in past videos if you like watch me regularly but they have little crosses on them and I just think they look so cute and so I'm obsessed with these and I'm all about like big hooker hoops like I've said that before when I hauled these like I just I love them I love them I love them next is rose hip oil uh i've talked about this before i've talked about it in my healthy hair video i talked about it in my how to straighten your hair the healthy way video this is amazing for your hair it makes your hair feel so soft it does leave like if you put too much it does leave like a little bit of grease in it and it is very easy to put too much but like it just makes your hair feel so 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 soft you wouldn't be able to find this in like the beauty section you'd have to go to like your essential oil section of your like of like Whole Foods or like I got this off Amazon I think it was about ten dollars for a four ounce bottle so like that's pretty good and it lasts a long time because it just has this little dropper and you just put like a few drops every time you use it and so I love this I'm obsessed with this and you can use like any kind of essential oil I got rose hip um, thinking it would smell like roses I said this before I got it thinking it would smell like roses but it doesn't smell like anything and so at least it doesn't smell bad okay this is something that I decided I was gonna put in this video kind of last minute but like the other night um, so I've had this watch since like October 2014 but I 
but and I got it off Amazon it was like 30 something dollars which is like the most expensive watch that I own most of my watches are just like Walmart watches that are like 12 bucks at most but anyways um the problem with this watch was that like the little things that you take out to make it smaller would not come out like I tried I had my husband try I took this watch to New Mexico with me like last Christmas like Christmas 2014 and I had my parents try and literally nobody could get the things out to like make the watch smaller and um like everyone in my family was like just take it to a jeweler and have them take it out and I was like I don't want to take it to a jeweler and have them take the things out when it's only like a 30 something dollar watch like it's like it's the most expensive watch I own but like it's not a very expensive watch anyways so last night I was um like so, like a watch came up in like my recommendations on Amazon and I was like you know I never even got that first watch that I got a while back to fit me and so like at like seven in the morning I like got this watch out of my jewelry box I've never been able to wear this because it was just too big it would slip off my arm immediately and I just like I took like little push pins and a hammer and I just started hammering the little things out and I just I was like, I don't even care if I break it, I don't even care if I scratch it or whatever because like I've had this for over a year and I haven't been able to wear it at all so like what does it matter if I break it? Anyways, I didn't break it, I did get a couple little scratches in the side of it but I finally got it to fit me and so I haven't even worn this out in public yet but it finally fits and it's still like a little too loose but it's comfortable and it's not going to fall off like it was before and it's just a... What does that say? Bre Breda? Yeah, Breda, Breda, B-R-E-D-A. It's just like a rose gold watch. Not real rose gold, of course, but it's just, it's such a pretty watch, and, but I'm like really pissed off at it. And to be quite honest, even though I'm talking about it in my favorites video, I would not recommend buying one because it's such a pain in the ass to like make, get the little hooks out or like sizing things out so it can actually fit your wrist. Um, but it's just my favorite because I finally, I can finally wear it and it is a pretty watch. Not worth the effort to like get the little push things out. Another favorite is, um, this Love and Beauty Forever 21 Matte Lipstick and Nude Beige. I, I hauled this a couple weeks ago, um, from a Forever 21 like mall haul and I hauled it with two other Forever 21 lipsticks and this one is the best one in my opinion. It's, um, like the best color on me and the only thing is it is it is a little dry but it goes really you can put chapstick over it you can put chapstick on before you put this on and it's not gonna like cause any problems like putting the lipstick on and it's not gonna take off the lipstick if you wait till afterwards to put the chapstick on so it is dry but you can use it with chapstick and like I said this is the matte in nude beige and it's just a really um, nice light nude color and it's my favorite of the three lipsticks that I hauled in that like um, after Christmas haul video a few videos ago. So that's that for this favorite and then going with that is this Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Moisturizing Lip Balm. I am obsessed with this. This smells like like it smells like pure grapefruit. You know a lot of times when you get like a grapefruit smelling item and it smells like that artificial grapefruit and like I hate that artificial grapefruit smell but this smells like you cut open a grapefruit and like a like real grapefruit and sniffed it and it just smells so good and so I love this. It's the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Moisturizing Lip Balm like I said and highly recommend this if you like the smell of real grapefruit and yeah I just love this another fashion favorite are these sunglasses that I recently got off Amazon they were just ten dollar sunglasses I've talked about this before but lately I've been like obsessed with the movie breakfast at Tiffany's it's my favorite movie at the moment and um, I literally typed in breakfast at Tiffany's sunglasses and this is what came up and I love these I think they look really good on me like, they don't look like super retro where they're like ridiculous but they also look like a little modern like they have a little modern twist on it I don't know I just think they're really really nice and yeah 
only 10 bucks on Amazon. If you type in like breakfast at Tiffany's sunglasses, then you will be able to find them. No problem. They're like the first ones that come up and they also come in different colors. These ones are just um, black. They also have matte black if you prefer like a matte black sunglasses and then they have like white, silver, red. They have so many colors and so I love those. And then my very last favorite for this month is this book, Descent, um, by Tim Johnston. And I just randomly picked this up at the airport. Like, my flight was delayed and I needed something to do. So I randomly, like, went to a bookstore, started, like, looking through, like, the back covers, seeing what sounded, like, interesting. I picked this up. I had never heard of it before. And I'm obsessed. Just to give, like, um, a brief what it's about um, without going too much into detail is it's about like a family a mom a dad a younger brother and a sister who go up to the rocky mountains for like a family trip and then the sister goes missing and it just basically um what kind of keeps you reading it is it talks about how the different family members cope throughout this tragedy and it's also super suspenseful because throughout the book you're trying to figure out what happened to the girl that made her disappear and so it's a really good book i highly recommend um it's a new york times bestseller if that means anything to you i think i read it in probably about three days which is pretty fast for me so um if you're an active reader then i recommend this one so yeah that is it for this month's monthly favorites video my social media will be linked down below please like subscribe comment etc and thank you so much for watching bye guys